What's up guys? Welcome back to Halfman of Tech. So finally, this year's WWDC has just concluded and this is amazing news because it means if you have an iPhone or a Mac or even an Apple Watch, you can get the latest software updates from Apple in beta and be able to test out some of the new features and changes before it's released to the rest of the public. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to update, what steps you can take in order to update and helping you basically through the update process. So before we actually get all excited with updating our iPhones to iOS 16 and before I show you how I'm going to be helping you update there are some steps that I would like to bring to your attention that will basically help us be able to update to iOS 16 the best way possible and also the safest way possible and this will help us protect our device and the data that is on our devices. So basically the first step that I would like to recommend to you that you do is to go into your settings and go to general and remove any previous iOS 15 beta profiles or even if you have iOS 14 beta profiles, then go ahead and remove those profiles. Those previous iOS profiles not only go in the way of you updating to iOS 16, but they can at times cause issues and sometimes your device might get stuck in a boot loop. So you do definitely want to remove those previous iOS 15 uh, beta profiles. On top of that, I would also highly recommend that you restart your device just to make sure you know it gets a fresh restart without the beta profile. This can go a long way in protecting your device and making your the way you update to iOS 16 seamless. The second thing I'd like to recommend to you is to basically back up your device before trying to hop onto a beta as sometimes you know they this is a beta that we're jumping onto so sometimes there may be data losses where you might need to restore your devices so do back up your device it's very easy to back up an iphone you just basically have to go into your settings and then go to your icloud account and go to the backup section and click backup now if you don't have your device automatically backing up all the time so you can actually do a manual backup to make sure that you have a current backup of your device before hopping on to ios 16 and then also if you do have like a mac i like I have here or even a Windows PC as long as it has iTunes you can actually do a finders um, backup on your Mac or on Windows you can use iTunes and basically trust the device that you connect your iPhone to launch finder on Mac or iTunes on Windows and then go to the backup section of your device and begin the backup process before installing this beta or actually going into the update process of iOS 16. Backing up your device is quite a substantial step because as you go on to a beta, you never know what could happen. Sometimes you might lose your information or your device might need to be reset. So it just protects your information just in case you need to recover it or restore it from a place. 